Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. Yes, I'm back in LA, honey. So as you guys know, I've been in Minneapolis for the past few weeks, just spending time with my family and everything else, been busy. I even got sick for a few days, but I'm doing much better. So I just got back in LA the day before yesterday. So I basically just been resting and trying to take care of myself, okay? First and foremost, I'm gonna need y'all to go ahead and grab your teacups. Why? Because this tea is what? Piping hot. How you doing? So anyways, what's going down is that this morning, I'm sure you guys all saw me post on Facebook and Twitter about Aunt Viv from the Fresh Prince emailing me a petty ass email calling herself trying to come for my channel. So Aunt Viv called herself coming for me today in the email. Oh y'all, make sure y'all have y'all teacups ready, honey. It's time to spill that tea. How you doing? <laughs> yeah. And when I first seen this email and I read it, I was kind of upset because one, this woman is old enough to be my mother. I've always been very respectful of her. I've always taken up for her. You know what I'm saying? I've done several videos having this woman's back. And for her to try and come at me the way that she did, I just was not feeling it at all, okay? So I wanted to come on here and talk about the entire situation because everybody on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, honey, wanted to know the tea. So I'm gonna go ahead and read you guys an email that she sent me. Check this out. The grammar in the email is kind of off, but this is what she says. She says, I am the administrator for Blackdress Janet Huber. Your use of her video is in violation of a copyright. We are reaching out to you in order to provide you an opportunity to remove the video or YouTube will remove it, not allowing you to post other videos. As you can see on her Blackdress face page, it strictly states that the video is copyrighted. You have also placed ads on the video that does not belong to you, violating YouTube's strict guidelines. If the video is not removed in one day, it will be reported as is the right of Blackdress Janet Hubert. Thank you for your cooperation. All right, so you guys just heard that shitty grammar field email. So y'all know me, before I replied back, I went and I did my research, you know what I'm saying? And I just had to kind of let Miss Blackdress know about herself. This is my response to Janet Hubert here. So I replied back and I said, hello, I'm sure this is Blackdress Janet Hubert herself trying to act like her administrator. Anyways, please let Blackdress Janet Hubert know that her video will be removed. Also make sure to let her know that I find it funny how when another black woman takes up for Blackdress Janet Hubert and has her back, it's an issue. I hope you all sent the same rude email to all the white media outlets who also ran with your story, used your video clip, and made millions of dollars off of it, all the while making you look crazy and bitter. Just to let you know, if I truly cared, which I don't, I could fight to keep the video up and nine times out of 10, I would win because once something is on social media, we have the right to use it as fair use in the form of commentary. But since you want the video removed so badly, then I will remove it. But just realize, even if I kept it up, YouTube will still allow me to make and upload videos. So please get over yourself, ma'am, and miss me with the petty threats. They weren't needed. It seems to me that you're mad because because your video on YouTube only received 3,000 views after being online for two months. The video that I made gained over 150,000 views in two months, which is pennies. I have videos with over a million plus views, so don't act like I got rich off of this video and took money out your mouth. You have news organizations that made millions off of your petty one-sided beef with Jaden Will Smith. So since Blackdress Janet Hubert seems to need her coins so bad that she would threaten another black female YouTuber's channel who had her back over and over again, she can expect me to never have her back again when it comes to any issues concerning her. This email says everything that I need to know about Blackdress Janet Hubert. Good day and do not email me again. The video has been removed and I have provided you with a screenshot. Unlike you, I reply back directly to people. I don't need an administrator. Sincerely, T. So that was my email to her. So I guess after they read my email, knew I was spitting a lot of truth in that email, all of a sudden she wanted to clap back with her attorney. Check this out. So in the next email, it says attorney information as follows, and it has his first, last name, phone number. I'm gonna black that out. If you are allowed to continue using the video, Miss Hubert would have to allow everyone else as well. The video was not viewed, only presented as one of many that were used without consent. If you had permission, that would have made our that would have made your usage different. Miss Hubert does not have time to view every video that is used illegally. Thank you for your cooperation. This is not a personal matter, as, as Miss Hubert does not know you nor you her. Blackdress admin. So this is my response to them. 
I said, hey, this is now becoming harassment. Stop emailing me. The video was deleted. There's nothing else to talk about. Move on. All right, so that's the piping hot tea. So I want to kind of break down this situation because I, I like I told you guys before in my Tommy Loren video, I'm not going to allow people to punk me anymore, okay? Um, Kevin Gates' attorney did that bullshit when they put my video about Kevin Gates kicking that girl in the face. That video had a bunch of likes, a bunch of shares, and because they didn't like that I was speaking the truth about him and his violent temper, their attorneys put my video down. And I'm not doing this anymore, okay? What I'm gonna start doing is whatever clips, whatever people are complaining about, they'll be removed, but the video with my original commentary will be back up on YouTube. So that video that I spoke about, the whole Janet Hoover situation with um, Jada Pinkett and Snoop Dogg, that video is right back on YouTube. And if you guys wanna watch it, you guys can click the link down below. I took out her bitter ass commentary. Now the thing that bothers me is that her attorney is trying to say that they don't have time to watch anybody's video who illegally used it. Now what I find funny is that the thing is with YouTube, they have a system in place that you don't have to go and view everybody's videos. You can simply put it into content ID and if you're that bothered by it, YouTube will literally pull the video throughout the website. Everybody will get a notice and the video will be taken down if she was really that pressed. But she wasn't pressed about pulling anybody else's videos because when I went onto YouTube and I did a search, her video is being used by so many people's commentary, it's not funny. But what I noticed is that the people who are allowed to use Janet Hubert's commentary, they're either smaller YouTube channels that don't get a lot of views. So some of these people maybe have a few hundred subscribers, maybe just a few thousand subscribers, but their videos did not get as many views as I got on my video concerning the situation, okay? And then the other people that she allowed to continue to use her videos were Complex News, CNN, um, there was a few other major white corporations who are using her video clip that their videos are still up on YouTube. supposedly copywritten and she doesn't want anybody using it but if you go onto YouTube you can still find hundreds of videos from corporations to regular youtubers using her clip what it is is that this woman Aunt Viv is very insecure she does not like the fact that in my commentary my video got way more views than her video did in the two months that they were online okay this woman waited two months to contact not only me I also found out that she also contacted Philip from the advice show media which is like my big bro so when I had posted that I was upset about this situation on Facebook, the first thing a lot of my fans pointed out is that, wait T, why is she upset? You actually had her back. You actually were, you know, defending this woman and you were going hard for her. Numerous people said that in my comments section and they also let me know that she also went after a Vice show who also has close to 500,000 subscribers as well. The thing that I find funny is this, if she was really bothered about us using her commentary, she would have contacted us within that week once our videos were up. At that point in time, she could have access to pull the videos, would have took it down, it wouldn't have been no problem, re-edited it and everything else. But she waited two months to contact us. For me being the smart person that I am, because you can't feed me shit and call it sugar, I now realize why she did this. The reason why she did this is that she was cool with us using her clip at that time because she knew with our big audiences, it would cause people to go Google her, to go look up her YouTube page, to go look up her fan page and everything else. So she was cool with us using her clip to a certain point. But now that the Oscars is over, now that all the fanfare has died, now that no one gives a shit about her and her silly plight, now all of a sudden she's in her feelings because we're still getting views off of the video. Meanwhile, her video views have not gone up at all. She's still sitting her ass at 3,000 views. So now she's in her feelings and she's feeling like, well, they're making money off my videos, so now I need to send my attorney after them to get them to take down the video. The thing is, like I said in the email, the video got 150K views. 
Yes, that's a lot of views, but we don't get rich off of views like that. That's pennies in the bucket to other videos that I have that get way more views, way more likes, and way more shares. You know what I'm saying? So to me, her claim about us making money off of her video is ridiculous. We probably made $5 off that entire video in two months. So she needs to have several damn seats. Another thing that I find really funny about the entire situation is I have yet to get an email from Jada Pinkett Smith. I have yet to get an email from Snoop Dogg. Do you know why? The reason why neither Jada or Snoop have emailed me about me using their clip in my commentary is because Jada Pinkett Smith and Snoop Dogg are actually building. They actually have a brand. They're actually getting money that they don't have to worry about YouTubers using their videos in commentary clips. It's people who are struggling, who have nothing else going for themselves, who feel some type of way if they assume that you're supposedly making all this money off of them. You know, I just find the whole situation just really damn ridiculous. I just find it sad that this woman who claims to be pro-black, who claims to be for black women, who claims to be for black people, and who's so upset at Will Smith for getting her blackballed in the industry, would sit here and turn around and literally call herself trying to threaten my channel and say that if I don't remove her video within a day, they would contact YouTube and then I won't be able to post any more videos. Man, you need to have several damn seats with those petty ass threats. You must not understand how YouTube works, okay? First of all, you filing a complaint is not gonna stop YouTube from allowing me to upload other videos. All it does is affect your one video, not my entire channel, okay? Second of all, it's really sad that you would sit here and come for me and Philip the Advice show when one, I had your back. And another thing I find really sad is that this woman has a crab in the barrel mentality. You're quick to go at other bigger black YouTubers, but you're not quick to go at the white media outlets who are also using your clip in their commentary. You're not quick to go at the little YouTubers because you know, there, there's nothing in that. There's nothing in it for you to go after a YouTuber who only has like a thousand subscribers, or who only got maybe 200 views on that video. You're trying to go after YouTubers who actually have a platform Form that they have worked hard to build themselves. And I don't respect that about you at all. You know what I'm saying? And then the fact that her attorney tried to come back with that weak ass response time out, she doesn't even know who you are. You know who we are. You know exactly who me and Philip are because if you didn't, you wouldn't have took time to create that email. And in the email that she sent Philip, it was real nasty. She even told Philip that he needs to get his own platform and stop trying to use her videos to come up as if all his videos are about Janet Hubert. This whole situation I just find tacky. I just find really, really insulting. And I really, really respected this woman at first. I really thought she was a genuine person. But like I said in that email back to her, her original email showed me everything that I need to know about this woman. This woman is petty as hell. Not only has she now gone after me, she's gone after Philip the Advice Show. She's gone after Kenya Moore. She even went after Nene Leakes. She said that she's upset that Nene Leakes is on Broadway. Meanwhile, she's a classically trained actress and she can't get a gig. Everything about this woman just wreaks anger. Everything about this woman just comes off as angry and bitter and I see why people are calling her bitter and now I'm seeing it firsthand. And I try to go into the original video and basically remove her clip, but because the video has been up so long, YouTube would not allow me to remove her clip after the video. So I literally had to delete the entire video and take it down just for the fact that her ass is crying and whining about it. I went ahead and took it down. But I am gonna put my commentary right back up with her clip not included. So if you guys have not seen my original commentary, I would love for you guys to re-watch it, re-comment, re-thumbs up. This is really sad I'm having to take down my videos and re-upload them because of people and their feelings. Just like with the whole Tommy Loren video. You know, and that's the thing that, I, that bothers me with this is that both these women can sit there and have their opinion. You know, Janet can go in on Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith and you know, she can have her opinion and that's okay. And yet nobody else is allowed to have their opinion or call her out, even though I didn't call her out. Tommy Loren can sit here and go in on Beyonce and have her opinion, but then as soon as somebody goes in on her, she's upset. And once again, I didn't even go in on Tommy Loren. I basically put the video up, stated my opinion, and that was it. Now, what I also find funny is this selectiveness of who they want to have use their videos and who they don't, okay? Now, Tommy Loren's racist ass caught herself banning my videos, banning my videos worldwide because I made a response to her bullshit about Beyonce, but then in the same breath, the Young Turks went in on her.
went off on this woman in their videos, but guess what? Their video with Tommy Loren's original clip is still in their video. Tommy Loren did not make them pull their video down and several other white YouTubers are still using her video clip and their videos have not been taken down, but yet and still my video was banned worldwide. You know, so that's the part that bothers me. If you don't want people using your content, then nobody should use it. Don't sit here and cherry pick who you want to use your fucking content when it's convenient, but then you allow other people to use your content that you don't deem as a threat or that you know that you can't do nothing to. You know, so I don't have respect for neither one of these women. I don't have respect for Tommy Loren's racist ass or for Aunt Viv's fake pro-black ass either. Instead of you supporting a young black sister and supporting my positive platform, you want to send me silly ass letters from your attorney? I just find that really, really insulting that so many black folks out here have this crab in the barrel mentality. I'm making videos telling the truth, uplifting people. You know, I try and make positive videos and let young girls know that they don't have to sit here and slut themselves out, whore themselves out, be attention whores, any of that to make it online and yet and still instead of this woman supporting that and supporting that I'm being positive, she wants to sit here and try and shame me and come for my channel. Like, are you serious, Miss Hubert? Discuss about this entire situation because like I said, it's funny that a lot of people can take my content, take my words. I see people use my entire titles, you know what I'm saying? Try and do their format like how I do it. Do I complain? Do I bitch? Do I make damn videos going in on other YouTubers or other platforms? No, I don't. I do me and I stay in my lane. Nobody was putting hood booger or hood rat in their titles before I start doing on YouTube. Nobody was talking about Ratchet Florida before I start doing on YouTube. But now you can find a bunch of YouTubers talking about Ratchet Florida. You can find Boss of Time Out of Hood Booger this, Hood Rat that. You know what I'm saying? But do I make videos going in? Do I sit here and send people stopping to cease letters? Do I say, yo, I started that or those are my words, you guys can't bite me? I see people saying read damn dickless all the time now in their videos. Do I go in on people? Do I send emails? Emails. No, I don't. I stay in my lane. You know, so I just find it funny that people love to dish shit, have commentary, state their opinion, but then when other folks do the same thing, all of a sudden it's the issue. All of a sudden they're in their damn feelings. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping, honey. I don't want this video to be too long, but I have to get this off my chest. And to the people who support me, thank you guys. You guys make me do what I do here on YouTube. Because so many times I swear I be wanting to pull my fucking hair out and just say, you know what, F all this. I don't have time for this. I have time for all this drama. You know, I have a lot of other stuff going on outside of YouTube. But I know that my audience loves my videos. You guys love what I do. You guys love my commentary. And I do this more or less for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of work. Like I've always told you, I don't have no team behind me. I don't have no production team. I don't have no editor. Everything I do is me. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes, yes. Am I the most articulate? No. Do I mess up on names like Karachi, Karuchi, whatever the hell her name is? Yes, I mess up on people's names at times. Yes, I make mistakes in my videos at times. But you know what? That's why people love me because they know I'm just my genuine self. I'm imperfect. I make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? I just state my opinion and I let the chips fall where they may. I would never go out my way to silence somebody else. Even if they dissing me, I don't silence other people. Like I told y'all before, I've had YouTubers go in on me that I've never dissed before. I don't even know who these mother effers are. I don't pay them no attention. And they have called themselves going in on me for no damn reason. And guess what? I never replied to them, never sent them no email, never said pull down that video or else I'm getting my attorney. Never did nothing. I just let the chips fall where they may. I stayed in my lane and I kept on doing tea. And I'm just so tired of people, you know what I'm saying, always in their feelings over the pettiest shit, but only in their feelings about certain people, not in their feelings about everybody else. Like I said, I understand if she feels like it's a copyright issue. If you feel that way, then stop everybody from using your shit. Don't just come after my channel. Same with that racist bitch, Tommy Loren. Don't just come after Lovely T's channel, bitch. Go after the Young Turks channel. Go after all the people's channels who went in on you when you was talking shit about Beyonce. Words of Nicki Minaj, still I rise. <laughs> Y'all like my b-boy stance at the end? Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know if that's in this entire ratchet-ass situation, honey. Once again, concerning black dress, Janet Hubert throwing shade at me in the Vibe Show. And if you guys have not watched the Vibe Show's commentary, because he's going to do commentary on this as well, I'm going to have his link down below. You guys can go ahead and check out his video as well. And make sure you guys check out my original video. Rewatch it. Reshare it. Relike it. Because I'm putting that video back up. I'm not going to let nobody else silence me. My truth is my truth. And I'm going to keep on speaking my truth with or without her damn clip. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.
Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.